Uh, here's another problem which many of you will know. If you do know it, uh, don't shout out too much. Um, but uh, this is an addition sum uh, and concerning three-digit numbers. Okay? Uh, and uh, so what I'm going to... Oh, and I'm going to put... I'll, I'll put another acetate on top of this so I can write on that again. They say he who acetates is lost, but anyway. Um, okay, so I'd like someone to give me um, a three-digit number in which the first and last digits differ by two or more. Would you like to give me a number? 136. 136 is an excellent choice. Uh, and while you're, uh, while you're all, thinking, you're all thinking at 136, meanwhile, I will give uh, Barbara an envelope to hold. Okay? Don't look in it yet. <coughs> So let, let's take one, 136, um, and I'm going to reverse it, and that gives me 631, okay? Uh, and what I do is I, 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 I take the smaller one from the larger one, okay? So this is a difficult bit. We're now going to do some sub subtraction, okay? Now, if I can get this right, um, I think this is a 5, and I think this is a 9, and I think this is a 4. Is that correct? Very good. Now I reverse this, okay, and then I'm going to add, okay, uh, that's a 9, that looks like an 8, carry 1, that's 1089, okay. So, I, I, um, so you chose the number 136, and, I've, and I, I reversed it, subtracted, uh, and then I reversed and added, uh, and I got 1089. Could you open the envelope, please? <coughs> And, of course, the answer is, is, is 1089. <laughs> <coughs> and you clap, because I was, I'm obviously so clever. But I'm not, I'm not that clever, in fact. Um, because, in fact, if you take any three-digit number and reverse it and carry out the same procedure, you always get 1089. So I, I, I knew this would work. So one thing you might like to do um, is actually to try and work out why you always get 1089. Um, some of you, many of you will know a very nice little book on recreational mathematics and on mathematical, well, it's not all recreational, by David Atchison. It's called 1089 and all that. And he describes about how he, he, he discovered this in the I Spy Annual for 1956, I think it was. Uh, and, and he was really fascinated by it and he really tried to, to, to work out why it works. Uh, and I remember also coming across it about the age of 12 or something and trying to work out why it works and failing, and then trying again a, a few months later, and then finally succeeding in a great sense of achievement in explaining why this works. So you might, you might like, to, like <coughs> to try this. If you want to see why it works, if you can't work it out for yourself, get David's book, and it's all explained in there. <coughs>